Hey, partypreneurs, ever wished you could turn any image or piece of artwork into a custom frame in Canva? You know, those cool placeholders where you can just drag and drop photos? Well, what if I told you Canva won't let you do that? Normally. But don't worry, because today on Digital Partypreneur, I'm revealing the secret hack to create custom Canva frames from literally any image you want. Get ready to unlock a whole new level of personalized design. All right, so we're going to come into Canva and I'm going to show you how to create a custom frame from your artwork or any other image that you would like. So the first thing you want to do is come in and create a click on create a design. You want to click your custom size. So I'm just going to click 2000 by 2000 pixels. All right, so now what I want to do is now that I have my canvas on here, I want to come over here to the side and I'm going to click on elements. Now, if you have your own artwork that you want to create into a frame, all you would do is click on upload and upload your artwork. But for now, for video purposes, we are going to use one of Canva's elements. So we're going to type in black afro one. And then we're going to scroll over to graphics. And then we want to click on this toggle bar here on the side and we want to click free because if it's a pro element, Canva is not going to let us download it. And then we just want to look through and see what image we want to change into a frame. So let's just look through and see which one we want to use. There's a lot of options here, um, and you can just click on any of these and play around with them and see which one you want to use. So there's a lot of different options here. So I think we're going to use, let's use, hmm. I think I'm gonna use let's use this one. We can just use this one. So I'm gonna click on her, bring her in. Okay, it's pretty simple and basic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on share, download, and we're going to click on, make sure it's on PNG, and we're just gonna click transparent background. Well, actually, we're not going to click on transparent background. I'm just going to click download. All right. Once our image has finished downloading, we want to come over to a website called photop.com. This is a free web application that you can use to create Canva frames. So once you are inside of here, you're going to click on open a new project and you want to upload the image that you are turning into a Canva frame. So here's the image that we had already picked from Canva. So the first thing we want to do is you have over here on the right side, you have your layers. OK, so we want to click on that and we're going to click on this little one here on the left side. And we want to click on the background and we're going to click delete okay so now that we have the background removed we're going to go back over here to the side where it says background and we're going to right click and we're going to click on duplicate layer all right and we are going to do, do this twice to see if we can change um, make multiple layers so we want to change her her hat her hair and her shirt colors so i'm going to do it one more time duplicate layer 
All right, so we, now we have three different layers here, okay? So we're gonna click on this first one. Um, so we're gonna start with her hat and see if we can change that. So we're gonna come back over here to our wand tool, click on it, and then we want to click on the hat, okay? And then we're gonna right click and we're gonna click make work path. Okay, and then it'll be highlighted in blue. So we have it here highlighted in blue. And then we're gonna come over here up to the top, click layer. We're gonna click on vector mask. And then we're gonna click current path. Okay, so now our first Canva frame is done, which is the hat part. Now we're gonna click on the second layer here where it says layer one, copy two. And then we're going to work on that one. We're going to come over. We're going to click on our wand. And then we want to try to change her hair, turn her hair into a frame. So we're going to click on it. We're going to right click, make work path. It's going to highlight in blue. And once it does that, we're going to come up to the top, click layer. We're going to scroll down to vector mask. And we're going to click on current path. All right. So that layer is done. We're going to come down to our last one that says layer one. We're going to click on our wand tool over here on the side, and now we're going to try and click on her shirt. And then we're going to right click, click on make work path. It's going to highlight in blue. We're going to come up to the top, click on layer, click on vector mask, current path. And now all of our layers are done. Okay. So once we are done that, all we need to do now is we're going to come up to the top. Click on File, and now we're just going to export as a PDF. And then this screen is going to pop up. We're going to click Save. We're not going to do anything else. All right, so now that we are back in Canva, you want to now you already downloaded the PDF. So now you're going to go in Canva, you're going to upload that PDF file. And once you upload the PDF file to Canva, you want to go ahead and open it up. So up here you see it says that PDF. So I know I'm inside the right file. And then once you have it open, now we're going to check and see if we have our Canva frames that we created inside of Photo P. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to hover over the hat and I'm going to click delete. And there's our frame. I'm going to click on her here, click delete. And then I'm going to click on her top. I'm going to click delete. So we have all of our frames. So all you need to do is just drag and drop whatever you want to put in there. If it's a pattern, if it's a color. So let's say, for example, I want to do a galaxy pattern. I'm going to come over here to elements. I'm going to type in Galaxy background. And then you have all these different graphics and photos. And all I'm going to do is just grab one. This one is pretty. And I'm going to drop it in. Okay. Or let's say you wanted to do um, her hat in a Galaxy pattern. You can go and you can drag and drop that in. Let's say you want to have a matching shirt. And then let's say for her hair, say we want to just change the color. Say we don't want to put a pattern in there. You just click on it, go up to the top, click the color you want. And then here, the photo that we have of the galaxy, those colors populate right here. So then that way, we can just change her hair to any color to match. I'm going to turn her hair back to brown, dark brown. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want because now you have this frame and you can create it however you want. Okay. So let's turn her hair to black. All right. And then this is how you make a Canva frame. And so if you wanted to provide this to your customers, you can just give it to your customers like this without the image inside. And they all have their Canva frame and you just would click on share. You want to click on see all. 
and then right here which is a pro feature now um, you have your template link so you would just click on a template link you would click on create template link and then a URL will pop up and this is the link you would give to your customers in order to access this Canva frame okay so there you have it, your new superpower to create endless custom frames in Canva. This opens up so many possibilities for unique designs. If you're excited to try this out, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with a fellow designer. What kind of frames are you going to make first? Tell me below.